In this presentation, we will be discussing power and exponential calibrations. Typically found in analyses requiring ion-selective electrodes, power and exponential calibrations may be found in other types of analyses. We begin the presentation by trying to define power and exponential along with their basic equations. According to the dictionary, power is the number of times as indicated by an exponent that a number occurs as a factor in a product. Here we look at the power equation. Y equals AX to the B power. Be sure to look closely at this equation as B is the slope and not the intercept as is seen in typical linear equation. It is important to note that the intercept is multiplied by the concentration and that the exponent is the slope. Power equations are considered nonlinear and are often difficult to solve in their original form. However, nonlinear equations can often be transformed into linear equations. By taking the equation from the previous slide, we take the log of each side of the equation. Now we have an equation that is familiar to most individuals. Transformations of equations should be carefully considered so that the appropriate transformation is conducted and that assumptions concerning the data are still valid. Moving to exponential, we define it as where a variable relates to an exponent, example 10 to the power x, and is characterized by an extremely rapid increase. Now we move on to the exponential equation. The difference from the power equation that you will note is that the intercept is multiplied by the concentration and they are found in the exponent. The exponential equation is also in a nonlinear format. As with the power equation, the exponential equation can be transformed into a linear equation. By taking the equation from the previous slide, we take the natural log of each side of the equation. Or you may change the natural log to log by using the following conversion of natural log equals 2.303 log. Transformations of equations should be carefully considered so that the appropriate transformation is conducted and that assumptions concerning the data are still valid. When solving the slope, intercept and correlation for a power or exponential calibration that has been transformed into a linear equation, the analyst can follow the regression statistical equations as described in the linear least square regression presentation. Be aware that the natural log and the log components need to be carried throughout the linear regression equations. As we have transformed both the equations used in this presentation, a brief discussion on data transformations should be mentioned. Data is typically transformed when heterostatisticity or a widely scattered pattern is seen. A logarithmic transformation is applicable when there is heterostatisticity and the standard deviations are proportional to the means. That is, there is a constant coefficient of variation. Another instance to use logarithmic transformation is when the effects in an analysis of variance are multiplicative rather than additive. Then the logarithms of the data will exhibit additivity. Further information on data transformation may be found in statistical reference books or in SW846 8000C. Here we have an example of an exponential curve before and after transformation to linear. Here we have an example of a typical ion selective electrode calibration showing the use of data transformation. There are limitations to the use of power and exponential calibrations. The exponential equation requires a minimum of two calibration standards. In addition, power and exponent calibrations require a minimum of two calibration standards when the origin is included and three calibration standards when the origin is ignored. 
Power and exponential should be used to fit data that increases rapidly and not to correct for instrumentation problems. In addition, power and exponential data represent positive data and do not fit negative data or data equal to zero. Use of the power calibration requires an understanding of detector behavior and a data transformation that will allow a simple calibration model. The benefits of using a power or exponential calibration is that the transformation of data into a simpler calibration model makes solving the calibration easier. Can reflect the behavior of the detector or electrode better and the calibration models provide a useful approximation of the average of the actual changing rate during respective time durations. A disadvantage of using power and exponential calibrations is that the transformation of data may result in data not meeting assumptions of normality and homocedasticity or fitting the straight line pattern more closely.